ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? This is Joe Figueroa with another video in our series, Anatomy of a Dance, where I break down social dancing count for count, pointing out everything the dancers do. This week's video is on this dance between Shaka Brown and Beige Bote. I did a video with Beige a while back. This is my first of Shaka, but I'm sure there will be more to come. So here's your chance to subscribe and ring the bell because we're starting right now. This video is short, but there are plenty of examples of great technique within, starting with this continuous turn to lasso. Oh, I refer to any turn that begins during the prep and continues turning during the movement a continuous turn. Shaka leads the walk passing the right hand over her head and with his hand behind her back guiding her past him, then uses his hand at her right shoulder to change her direction once she has passed him, bringing Beige's left hand behind her back. Shaka extends his left arm hold out as far as he can to provide Beige with space to prep. They are dancing on two, so she is back on six, he is forward. She steps seven toward him like normal. Shaka then steps his seven, which is right, to his right, which moves him out of her path, a technique I refer to as jumping the track. Because of the side step, his left arm hold is now brought to its limit giving Beige a tugging feeling in her left hand, which informs her that her 671 prep is going to be a change in direction. Technically a copa or cumbia step. I've already shown how responsive Beige is. So off she goes, beginning her continuous turn. He already provided her path. As her first turn completes and she is coming around to face him, Shaka switches his handhold from left to right. We can't see it, but that just goes to show how well it was done. See, Shaka is switching the hand in front of him and her, around the count of two into three. It's the least intrusive method. This gives Beige the freedom to continue turning for a second time. Here's a tip for leads, which I teach in my classes, and Shaka displays perfectly. That hand switch I mentioned earlier, when they began the continuous turn, you can see that Shaka exhausted his arm length, even down to the fingertips. See, they are connected at the fingertips. But after the hand switch, Shaka does what I do. He picks up the hand within the palm of the follow's hand, the part of your hand used for a karate chop, the owner's side. I had to look it up on the internet myself. <laughs> anyway, this is a great way to limit the follow's movement going into what's next. It also guarantees that you aren't going to lose your partner's hand during the rest of the movement. Now Shaka and Beige are in the typical position for a check. The handhold that Shaka has limits Beige's movement, so her turn will be incomplete which gives her the feeling to forward break for a standard check step. Notice the symmetry of the cross step here. She is checking forward on six, crossing with her right leg in front of her left. Shaka is accomplishing the same technique, but his six is his left, which he crosses over his right. So they have a mirror image look to them when stepping six. From here, Shaka uses the six, seven, and one to lead the lasso, but rather than free spin her out of it, he uses his left hand to brace her and passes his right hand back to the direction she came from, creating a sort of press line for her at the end. Follows notice here that as Beige is coming out of the walk before the continuous turn, she has her right arm free and is about to style with it but keeps her elbow down, her hand at her chest to make herself as narrow as possible. Once clear of him, she raises her elbow straight up. This is just good styling technique especially in social dancing. It's as if the back of her hand is brushing past her chin and jawline. She then traces that jawline, bringing her hand behind her head as if she were flipping her hair from her right side to left. She wore her hair in a braid that night, so it was just a simulation, but it works. She is able to create that styling look for the duration of the turn. These are standard arm styling techniques that clearly work well at any level of dance. So practice the basics, people. In a previous video, I showed some of the different versions of the Apache. Check out this perfect execution of one here. It begins like any other. Both break back on six. Shaka has Beige's right hand in his left. Both meet in the middle by one, during which time Shaka lowers Beige's right hand and places it behind her back while reaching with his right hand to collect it prima facie. Now this moment right here is what makes this movement so effective and pleasing to the eye. Shaka is using the palm of his hand to press firmly at Beige's midsection, collecting the hand but at the same time limiting her options as far as direction goes. 
Because of that pressure, Beige understands that she can no longer travel down the line she was originally given. The arm hold is essentially a block. Her options are either in place or travel back in the direction she came from. Either would have been acceptable. Also, it's hard to see, but Shaka has a cross step here on two, with his right that steps beyond her. I think that step informed her of her direction. Nicely done. From there, Shaka steps back to his original position and turns to his right to face her. This last one is just cool. Touch and go progressive or clockwise turn, ending with lefts over rights. With a back break or hard break on six, Shaka leads a copa or cumbia break for beige, changing her direction. He does this by using a concept that I teach in class, the concept that the follow follows the hand. So the lead wants to place the follow's hand in the direction which they intend for the follow to face. Another concept being used here is that lead comes from the middle. Shaka uses his low hand hold, his right, to create the direction change. Once Beige is in motion, Shaka tosses his right hand off to Beige's left and releases the hold, effectively giving Beige the inclination to pivot to her left for the expected copa or cumbia movement. But Shaka still has that left hand hold, the high hold, which acts as a restriction to Beige. Once again, providing information, giving her a path to move forward where Shaka was originally since they have now traded places. Shaka uses his left hand hold to begin a progressive or clockwise turn for Beige in the space he was once in, as she is coming to the end of her turn. Shaka then turns to his right, which would have them both facing the same direction and leave Beige's left arm under Shaka's. Quickly, he uses his left arm and pins her left down at the wrist. He holds his left arm down to prevent her from releasing her contact with him, and at the same time, stepping back to put himself in the position he was in at the beginning of the movement. This happens during the counts of 6-7-1, at the end of the copa, to back lead progressive. Now with both dancers in the same positions they began in, Shaka takes her left hand with his right and leads her free spin during the next count of 2-3-5. It's a very clean depiction of a difficult movement, led and followed perfectly. And there you have it. A quick look at the dance techniques of Shock and Beige. That's going to do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This content is for you to benefit from. So any feedback that you can give me will be greatly appreciated. Comments, likes, and even dislikes will help me to provide you with the best content that I can. So if you like this, do me a favor and hit that like button. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one. And remember, keep dancing.